Once upon a time, there was a beautiful castle in a land far, far away. In this magnificent castle, there lived the most beautiful queen. The queen only had one wish to be happy, and that was to have a beautiful baby girl. A cold winter day, when the queen was sewing next to the window, she suddenly poked herself with a needle. She immediately wiped the blood off with a piece of cotton, and right at that moment, she made a wish. I wish to have a baby girl whose skin is as white as snow, whose eyes are brighter than the shiniest jewel, and has cherry red lips, and a heart full of joy and happiness. And one day, the wish of the good-hearted queen came true. She had a beautiful baby girl. They named this beautiful girl Snow White. The years went by quickly, but their happiness did not last long. The good-hearted queen had become ill and soon after passed away. After a while, the king aged and had become extremely weak, so he remarried another woman. The new queen was beautiful all right, but she had an evil heart. She was an arrogant and jealous woman. Every day, the queen would look into her magic mirror and ask this question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the magic mirror would answer back. No one, your highness. You are the most beautiful one. And the queen would be very happy with the answer. With the arrival of the evil queen, everything in the castle started to change. Because of her evil doings, the kingdom faced many, many troubles. So to fix the troubles, the king had to go away from the castle. The evil queen was very happy because now that the queen had gone away, she could do as she pleased. The years went by fast and Snow White grew up to be a beautiful young girl. In a place not too far away, a prince suddenly saw the reflection of Snow White on the river from which he was drinking some water. He immediately looked around but could not see anyone else other than the birds upon his head. One day, the queen was in front of her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror answered. Well, um, sorry but... None you, my dear queen. Snow White is the most beautiful one. The queen was furious when she heard the magic mirror's answer. She immediately called in her favorite hunter and gave a horrible order. You will take Snow White into the woods and bring me her heart. The soldiers took Snow White next to the Queen. <laughs> Welcome, Snow White. Thought that you might have been bored in the castle. Um, go get some fresh air in the woods. Don't worry, my most trusted hunter will keep you safe. The hunter took Snow White deep into the woods. He had to do what he was told by the Queen. But seeing Snow White's pure heart, full of goodness, the hunter could not do her any harm. He warned her not to go back to the castle ever again. And at sunset, he left her in the woods and head back to the castle. Snow White was very afraid in the dark woods all alone. She sat under a tree and started crying. <laughs> until, at last, she fell asleep. In the morning, Snow White woke up with birds chirping and many tiny, tiny animal friends surrounded her. Because these animals knew who she was and loved their princess, they showed the way to Snow White. They brought her to their home, which was cute and as tiny as them. A little hesitant, Snow White opened the door. 
everything inside the house was very small and extremely messy. Snow White could not figure out whom this house belonged to, but she did not have anywhere else to go, so she decided to tidy up. La, 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 la. After she cleaned up the house and made it nice and spotless, Snow White cooked with the small kitchen utensils and had something to eat. In this small house, just like everything else, the birds were also tiny. But Snow White was so tired, she almost fell asleep right where she was. She thought that no harm would come to her in this place and fell asleep on a couple of beds she put together. In the evening, the seven dwarfs, who were the lovely owners of this beautiful home, had arrived from working in the mine. And as they entered, they were really surprised. The house was clean, plus it smelled of delicious food. Clumsy wanted some soup, but because of his clumsiness, he spilled it on the floor. Ace was trying to figure out what was going on. There is something fishy about all this. Who did all this work? <sighs> if I can get sleep, I'm sure I can find all the answers, said Lazy, yawning. The seven dwarfs quietly all went upstairs. When they entered the bedroom, they couldn't believe their eyes. There was the most beautiful girl they had ever seen lying on their tiny beds. Hearing the sounds, Snow White jumped up frightened from her sleep as she saw the 14 eyes of the seven dwarfs staring at her. Finally, with some hesitation, she said, My name is Snow White. I'm really sorry if I have offended you. I meant no harm. Well, we are sure of that. Otherwise, why would you clean up and cook for us? Answered Ace and introduced them. We are the Seven Dwarfs. This is Jolly, Angry, Clumsy, Slumpy, Red, and me, Ace, and... and... There he is, Lazy. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Snow White was so happy that now she had seven more fun friends. Snow White told them all about what had happened. The seven dwarfs were really sad to hear what had happened. They asked her to stay with them. Agreeing to stay with them, Snow White always helped them out. They all started to have happy and peaceful times together, but their happiness wasn't going to last long. One day, the Queen asked the same question to her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror's answer was the same. Well, hmm, I'm sorry but not you my dear Queen. Snow White is the fairest of them all. But the Queen thought that she was already dead. She did not know that the heart the hunter had brought her actually belonged to a deer and decided to finish the job herself, and for good this time. It was another joyous morning in the Seven Dwarfs' house. Snow White was sending the dwarfs to work with a kiss on their cheek. Ace repeated his warnings as always. Do not forget our rule. If any stranger comes knocking on the door when we are not home, do not answer it. Okie dokie, Ace. But you guys, don't be late, okay? While Snow White was preparing dinner, there was a knock on the door. She did not expect the dwarfs to come back home at this hour. Who is it? Ace? Is it you guys? From outside, an old woman spoke. I mean no harm, my little girl. Open up, please. Looking through the peephole, Snow White saw the poor old woman outside and thought she could mean no harm to her, so she opened the door. Oh, 
My dear beautiful girl, I am a poor old woman passing by. If you could give me a bowl of soup, I will be forever grateful. Snow White took the old lady in and offered her a bowl of hot soup. Thank you, my dear. I have no money, but I have the most delicious and brightest red apple for you. Even one bite will taste like heaven. Snow White curiously took a bite from the apple. And as soon as she did, she fainted and fell down on the floor. The old lady was no other than the disguised evil queen. And the apple was far from heaven, but full of poison. Even one bite was enough to put Snow White to a sleep, from which she could never be able to wake up. <laughs> When the seven dwarfs returned home, they found Snow White lying on the floor. Ace found the apple with the bite mark. The apple she ate must be poisonous. This must be the queen's doing. Snow White was so beautiful, even asleep. The dwarfs put her in a glass box made of the most precious gems and they put her on a hilltop where all her friends in the woods could see. One day, the prince came to the woods where Snow White was sleeping. Snow White's friends showed him the way and brought him next to the glass box where she was sleeping. The prince could not believe his eyes. The beautiful princess he once saw as a reflection on the river and kept seeing in his dreams was lying right in front of him. He lifted up the cover of the box and kissed Snow White. Right at that moment, Snow White's and the Prince's dreams came true. Their love overcame the curse and Snow White opened her eyes. At that same time, finding out about all that had happened to his daughter, the King broke the magic mirror and sent the Queen as far away from the castle as possible. Snow White finally returned to her castle and reunited with her father. Snow White and the Prince had a magical wedding. The King, Snow White, the Prince and the Seven Dwarfs, they all lived happily ever after.
feel 